Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm your Average Gamer and we are here in the pits at Indianapolis Motor Speedway for episode 7 of my Forza Motorsport career mode. Now, first things first, I did, a, I did some pretty serious thinking after that terrible result, that fourth place, having driven poorly and so on and so forth in Kyle Army. And I've decided to change tack. So I've reduced the driver tire difficulty from 6 to 5. But I'm going to be starting further down the grid. To give myself more of a race. But also more of a chance of winning. Because I'm, I've got to be honest with you folks. I'm missing winning races. Having only won one of six in the last series. I, it was not. It just didn't sit well with me. So, as I say, I'll make it more difficult for myself by starting further down the grid, but I'll give myself, overall, a better chance of winning by just dropping that one. It's only a 3% drop in bonus credits. So, uh, for me, from a, from a loss point of view, it's 43%, plus 43% credits rather than plus 46%, so I, I can take that drop. Um, with regards to my beautiful silver M4, I have fitted front and rear anti-roll bars and what was the other thing that I fitted? Oh yeah, I put race brakes on it as well. So it's got carbon ceramics on the front. So it might take a bit of time to warm up but uh, it should be nice and powerful. So uh, let me just tune the car. What was I going to do? I was, yeah, I've set this up to be soft at the front. I'm gonna I'm gonna make that a little bit less. Let's halve that difference because I don't want it to be sliding around too much. It's hard enough as it is without having to worry about it being on edge all the time. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, right, let's get let's get practice underway. That's the spirit fella. Shred those tyres on the way out. Get them nice and warm before we hit the track. And here we go. 143.75 I've got to be. Let's see. As I've dropped that difficulty down one level, it might that might be a slightly more easily achievable time. section Where are you going, pal? Cool, it's not a lot of grip coming out of that last corner onto that banking. I've completed my time, oh, substantially so. I've got a feeling I'm going to forget that I have to go through that little 
fly out chicane bit and end up in the wall. much much more tail happy than either of the other two rear wheel drive cars the Mustang or the Supra whoops who put that wall there as I was saying yeah so this is a lot more tail happy a lot earlier on in its uh, modification cycle this, uh, this M4 Oops, got a warning for that. Sorry, I was losing control. Right. One more practice lap. There's only a grunt in this car already, that was getting up to just shy of 150, just down that straight bit. Got to be so delicate on the throttle, there's not a lot of grip here. some uh, some uprated tyres might be on the agenda as well ok required objectives achieved let's come out of that there we go well there Neddy looks like it's got carbon ceramics all round the old brake front. Little pre-race vape. Do like a vape. It's better than smoking. Giving up smoking. I, will, I am thinking of giving up vaping, but uh, not just yet. Far too fruity flavours. Far too many fruity flavours to choose from. So, uh, anyway. Right. So... Let's let's try the let's try seventeenth on the grid, eh? How about that? Seventeenth. It's ten o'clock in the morning. I will say the lighting effects are spectacular in this game, as they always have been in Forza. But an awful lot of the time, and this is not a this is not a complaint. I'll say this now: this is not a complaint. It's just a fact or a factor. It does make it, on occasions, very, very difficult to see where you're going. But, uh, I suppose, in real life, it would be, wouldn't it? So, right. Here we go. this big carnage into the first corner don't want to be up against the wall so go through the gap That's 
supposed to, you're not supposed to slow down there, fellas. Steady. Side of this guy. Whoops. Oh, he caught me. He really caught me out there. He braked a little bit earlier than I was expecting. too much of that curve, I didn't get a penalty, that's, that's encouraging. It's going to be tricky to catch these, it's very, very hard to stop the car sliding around. wants to get out of shape at every opportunity. There's car level 9. A little bit closer. Keep it nailed through here. Well, I'm, as you know, I'm not. I'm going to chicken out. Slip stream again. Come to Papa.
too far in front of me, this guy. Dash for the line. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, that serves me right for having that off. Well done. We finished P2. Oh. How close was that? 646777 against 646895. Point one two seconds. Well, you do the math. It <laughs> seems I've failed miserably. So 46, I'm seven points adrift in the championship. With three races to go. Still, that was encouraging. I fought my way up from 17th on the grid, got into my bonus position and only only missed out by a tenth of a second after a big off and winning the race, so. Well driven folks, well driven. Certainly sounds like a beast that C63, that Forza edition. Now we're 28 grand, what have we got, flywheel? Clutch, springs and dampers, fuel system, differential, lovely transmission. Oh dear. What to do? What to do? Oh dear, four laps of Silverstone. Grand Prix circuit. Moderate rain. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was slight, slidey enough in the uh, in the dry around there. What in earth is it going to be like in the rain? All right, so I can't do tyres. Yeah, I've got six hundred points. How much for a diff? Four hundred for a race diff. Won't put it on just yet. Um, sorry, front tyre width. Is a hundred stock two eighty five. Hmm. Five hundred for race springs and dampers. It's on, so that means it's on sport as standard, which is fair enough. Right, so, sorry, where am I going? Let's just put that differential on there. So that leaves me 200 points is... Ah, sport transmission, I might get a sport transmission. Yeah, let's get a sport transmission. Up to A650. Tune in. This is, what's this got, an 8-speed gearbox as well? Yeah. One ninety two point seven miles an hour. Goodness me. Right, <clears throat> let's try that. A quick sip of drink. I won't 
need it in the rain. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh dear. It's all too much. So what sort of rain is moderate rain, I wonder? It's not heavy or thundery downpour like a storm. Silverstone is hallowed ground, oh. one of the most famous, exciting, and technically challenging tracks where modern Grand Prix racing was born on a repurposed World War II airstrip. Interesting fact. My dad used to be a pilot way back in the day, served in Second World War. And he, um, he actually flew from Silverstone when it was originally an RAF airfield. So that would probably have been mm, late 1930s, probably early 1940s. Which is mad when you think about it. But uh, I'm sure he would approve of this anyhow. So, right, let's start practice. Yeah, good luck, pal. I'm the one who needs it, but good luck anyway. So this, if this was sliding around at, um, at Indianapolis, it's going to slide around even more here, isn't it, surely? Yes, that would be a yes. now it originally in the first race of Kyle Army it was a little edgy when it was sliding like it if you it was like if you push me I'm gonna slide a little bit more than you expect so you don't push it enough but then when you do that you don't think it's gonna slide at all but now it's just sliding freely Especially with that rear diff turned up, it's, you can back the car into the corners. Oh yes. Back at some Beckys. speed I get coming in the stow. Already 145. Very uh, graceful overtake. Massively outbreak myself if I'm being honest.
absolutely feather in the throw there. Still sliding a little bit. It is, to be fair, Aggressive a slider as it is now. It is very progressive in the way that it slides. It's very controllable. Thank goodness. Peeling away into the pits. Oh, right. It's like that corner on Magello. I keep out breaking myself into that. I think it's slightly downhill. Oh, that's completed. But right, okay. So that wasn't really raining that hard. Is that what it's going to be like in the race? Or is it going to be harder than that in the race? I wonder. That wasn't too bad. Quick pre-race vape. As I say, the car feels, although it is very aggressive slidey-wise, it is very nice the way it slides. It slides all of a piece when you when you boot the, when you boot it out of a corner. It feels balanced in the slide. So whether or not that means I'll crash hideously or spin again, we shall we shall see. But uh, I've got three races. And what was I, seven points adrift? I really need wins, to be honest. Right, let's stick, let's go to 12. Let's go to mid position. And see how we go. It's four laps, I think, was it? Rolling star in the wet. What's the first call now? It's that right hander, isn't it? Which has got a name that I've forgotten. Gracious me. try and summarise what just happened.
Whoops. Yeah, this is considerably wetter than practice. I know I can catch them, but it's so difficult to get the power down in the rain. they able to get the power down? They better not have traction control on if I haven't. see me catching them.
Come on, Dave. Keep it together now. I sniffed an opportunity there. Come on. Give me some slipstream now and now's when I need it. believe it I don't believe it I got past him don't can your chickens Dave do not can those blooming chickens now oh my goodness me break nice and early and hard do not celebrate yet Dave do not celebrate yet Goodness me, is it? Yes. Oh, yes. I am taking that every day of the week and twice on Sunday. We finished P1. We certainly did. We certainly did. Wow, we, what a race that was. I'll tell you what. Apologies if I was extremely quiet for that last, certainly the last lap and a half. But that was intense. I didn't think but towards going down the uh, Wellington straight on that third lap I did not think there was any hope of me catching them whatsoever yes I'm back at the top of the list go on two events to go where next that's a nice paint job I like that Patronus paint job not that the other one isn't nice as well I should really think about doing a paint job. I used to do, come to think of it, I used to have a martini paint job that I used to do. And you can, I know that you can import your previous game's vinyl groups and so on. 
but I could I could take some time off camera and do myself a little paint job of a uh, martini white with the red and that red and blue stripes. Yeah, I might do that. I might do that. Boy, oh boy. I don't advocate vaping, but I'll tell you what, I'd probably need one after that. Goodness gracious me. 27,700. What have I got? Drive line. Ooh, tyre compound. Ignition. Rear wing. I need to think very carefully about what to fit to this car. I don't need to give it any more power. I'd... Circuit Hakone. 4 p.m. mostly clear. Now, was this the track that was part of the tutorial where I drove that racing Cadillac? Not sure. Not sure. But time's ticking on. So I think I'll just do a little bit of modification and a bit of tuning and then I'll call it a day for this episode. And then we can do the next two races, the last ones in this championship, in the next in the next episode. Boy oh boy, I tell you what, that's that was one heck of a race. It was amazing to take part in, I must say. Wow we Right, okay, let's all calm down and think about this. Tire compound, 700 for street tires. Oops. I think I'm tempted to put um, sport tyres on that and use up all my thousand points, but uh, hmm. So to put. Rear tire width is really what I want, isn't it? 305. So 295 is 150. So that would be 250. That would leave me 50 points. See me do the mass there. Yeah, I can't fit the springs and dampers yet anyway, so I think I might do that. Put that on there. Hmm. Let's try it. Let's put the full width on the rear. It's only going to benefit it from the point of view of slidey stuff. Do a bit of tuning. Let's put these back up halfway. What about gearing? That's okay. One hundred ninety-two point eight miles an hour is plenty quick enough. Right, so, wow, dear me, what a race that was. Anyway, after my loss by a head at Indianapolis, I managed to pull off a, a quite frankly, a knackering victory, if nothing else, at Silverstone there in the pouring rain. But, uh, yeah, so... I'm going to call it a day for this episode and uh, we will be heading off to Hakone at the start of um, of the next one so uh, I hope you enjoyed that that was certainly entertaining for me I hope it was entertaining for you um, 
if you could hit that like button smash that like button that would be wonderful if you feel like subscribing to my channel if you like what you see there'll be plenty more of this coming this game is amazing um, and you can leave a comment if you like but uh, you know not, not nothing, nothing, nothing rude, because you know you don't, you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to see me cry, would you? You don't have to answer that rhetorical question, but uh, yeah. So uh, anyway, I will, uh, I will say thank you once again for watching, and uh, I will see you all on the next one. Cheerio.